I saw that the uh, like after working in a small company and in a small service based company, they crack Amazon, Microsoft, and then I realized that okay, this is possible, and it's not something that it is not doable. And like I thought that yeah, we won't probably get much chances like the tier one, tier two people, but we would get chances. Like the chances will be less, but we have to prepare from our side. computer science uh, from a private university in kolkata uh, and i passed out last year so since i was from a tier 3 college i didn't get much opportunities for internships in big companies i did an internship in coal india that was for 2 months and uh, like yeah that was the ma- major internship that i did but uh, didn't get much chance to intern for big companies and projects were like yeah i built some basic uh, like games using java and c and also i did i uh, built a, ch- a chatting application in java i built a web crawler that was a part of the internship project uh, and apart from that i also when i got into my first company i kind of uh, apart from my main project i also uh, contributed to uh like an internal automation tool uh, that was an internal project for my company that was an automation tool for hr uh so yeah these were mainly the projects that i did uh, but mainly i would attribute most of my success to my problem solving skills rather than projects uh, my competitive coding my problem solving skills all these things majorly helped me to get where i am today but yeah the project is also important at least i couldn't dream of cracking amazon and microsoft because those things those companies seemed a very distant dream for me so for me what i did was like i started learning coding and i really enjoyed the process and after that i think uh, in my fifth uh, late fifth semester i started with competitive coding and there i got uh, you know competitive coding has a really great community and there i got to you know i participated in a lot of competitions and there i came in acquaintance with a lot of good people from good colleges and from them i heard that you know if you are a good and i came to know that if you are a good competitive coder then probably you have a good chance in cracking this big product based companies but however like for us uh, we were not getting much opportunities because uh, we were from a tier 3 college and obviously these companies are not going to visit on campus uh, so uh, like after i i think after i passed out i joined a service based company it was a product development service company called ecam systems uh there luckily i got development but uh, like uh, there were a couple of seniors uh, not from my college but from other good private college in my, in my city uh, i i saw that the uh, like after working in a small company and in a small service based company they crack amazon microsoft and then i realized that okay this is possible and it's not something that it is not doable and like i thought that yeah we won't probably get much chances like the tier 1 tier 2 people but we would get chances like the chances will be less but we have to prepare from our side because honestly i had given up the hope of uh, like getting into these companies directly from my college uh, i was planning to do an ms uh, masters uh, but after that when i once i saw that these people have made the cut uh, from a very similar background as mine that gave me real inspiration and it made me believe that i can do it for the application i think uh, uh, for just pay there was this hacker art contest uh, so that was the first product company i cracked uh in the in this period so there was a uh, hacker art contest that was going on and uh, normally i have participated in a lot of hacker art contest previously before in my college days and i was able to solve like all the questions mostly from good com- from good companies but i never got a call so this time i didn't like have faith that i will get a call but i just gave it because a couple of my juniors were giving it and they asked me they persuaded me to give the challenge as well because there it was written that for one year experience they are hiring one to five years of experience i guess so i just gave the taste with no expectations at all uh, but luckily i got a call and uh, so there i had to go through a couple of rounds the hacker two rounds of hackathon one round of technical interview one uh, ceo round and ultimately i cracked the offer uh, from jaske so after that i applied to to companies delivery and rcbm by reference and i and i also cracked the offers from them so i joined rcbm uh, as a software engineer yeah one month into rcbm when i was working i got a call from the amazon recruiter that you know whether i would be interested for their sd1 position uh, they're hiring they have an opening in alexa team in hyderabad and bangalore uh, so basically they said whether i would be interested or not so amazon was one of my dream companies to work for honestly rcbm is any we are great company but obviously i thought that okay let's give it a try because it's amazon it's one of my dream company and i have nothing to lose at that moment right because i've already got into a good company uh so i just managed uh, just thought to give it a try because also i was in practice at that time as well because i had cracked a couple of companies i was in the flow you know 
so that's why i thought of giving it a try and yeah amazon happened like that only. so obviously it's not great to frequently change like get into a company and focus on the work like don't think that i have to change within 12 months don't keep this mindset but yeah like if you are not getting good work then obviously it's i think you should look for a change because uh, like since we students are from a tier three college we obviously are not getting uh, we are not having a great start to our career right we are we, i just say i started from a service based company and then i had to switch uh, so yeah like for growth in your career and if you are starting from a very humble background initially you can make a switch and nobody will ask you these questions like in amazon they didn't ask me the question that why are you switching because they know that's amazon i'm like for rcs i'm also that didn't ask me that why are you switching after one year because they also know that why are we switching so i probably i don't know like i didn't get this question at any juncture uh but yeah if you let's say now if i'm switching from amazon to microsoft in within one year then probably i can face this question because obviously those are same type of company so for amazon i think uh, they normally for sd1 position they have five rounds uh, one is uh, the online coding round then next two are the technical interviews on ds algo in each round you will be asked two ds algo question and you are expected to solve both of them in the most opt- and give the most optimal solution to the problem also you have to code it out and you uh, have to make sure that uh, that is in production ready code where it, where it means that your code is clean enough for others to understand also it should pass all the s test cases and uh, basically you won't be given a compiler to run your code so basically it's kind of you have to dry run and understand your code the next up was the bar razor round uh, if you have cleared the first three rounds then there is the bar razor round where you know a very senior person from amazon will be taking an interview for somebody who is amazon in amazon for around let's i think more than 6 7 years or even more uh, so yeah he would be grilling you on your ds algo your projects a lot of behavioral questions will be asked and uh, he is a it's a very important round in amazon because he has the better power in rejecting a candidate like if other panelists say is that i'm okay to i'm good to go with this candidate but if the bar raiser doesn't approve of the candidate then it might well uh, like uh, result in a rejection of that candidate uh, after the bar raiser there is a hiring manager and hiring manager if you are a, experienced candidate like i was you can expect questions on your projects or from your, like from your professional experience also you would be grilled on your projects as well uh ds algo questions are normally are not asked in an hiring managerial round but you can expect questions on computer science fundamentals and a lot of other things so you can't predict that like hiring managers like what questions they put in a hiring manager but these are the like basic things which should be clear with your fundamentals now coming back to the preparation i think for amazon what is very very important is that you should be good with your problem solving skills and data structure algorithm this should be very clear and also what is important is like you should like practice uh, practicing this problems first on pen on paper first on pen on paper and now with the virtual interview is going on so i think you can even practice on google docs as well like you have to practice in a text editor where you won't be getting the option for an id or you know like where you would be getting you no know, getting the options to run your code uh, so basically uh, you have to develop your dry run skills uh so basically you have to code it out in a normal text editor and then you have to dry run you have to figure out your own test cases you have to ensure that all the test cases are passing uh because normally when you used to do computer coding what used to happen that first of all we used to get an id right and after we have coded it out what we used to do we used to run our code multiple times like even for the sample test cases let's say i compile and then i find there are a couple of compilation errors right so i would go and fix that out i would again run and if the let's say passes the public test cases then i would run against the private test cases and again let's say the output fails and again come back and fix our logic so we keep this trial and run uh, we keep on doing this this trial and run thing uh, when we used to do, when we normally generally solve problems or we do competitive coding but in amazon or in any interview of good product based companies we have to develop these skills where you know like uh, you have to have develop this habit of dry running your code uh, without a compiler and make sure whenever you're submitting the code to the interviewer you're saying that i'm done with my code it works uh, it should work make sure that you are good in any one of the programming language it's not that you know a lot of languages 10 languages but you're not good in any so make sure that you know one language it's okay to know two three languages like i personally know i guess three languages but make sure you know one language but know that really really well right because you would be asked to code in one language and they would give you the preference the interviewer would ask you that in which language would you like to uh, would, you, would you like to code so you would be getting that uh, preference is not that they would ask you to code only in java or only on python no you would be given the option uh, so yeah so la- there is no language barrier and uh, like profile wise i would say that first of all if you are if you are want if you are applying by off campus 
i think there are lots and lots of applications like when the first when the company is coming on campus uh, then i think it's it's a different ball game because you know they would be hiring specific to a campus but when it is coming to off campus there is a huge uh, competition out there and there are a lot of cvs that the recruiter goes to uh, and you know make sure that you have your cv sorted like like make a proper one page resume highlighting your relevant skills and it's not that like you would you know like give skills which are not relevant to the job position and miss up and probably end up missing out on the skills that are probably needed uh attach your competitive coding or you know lead code or whatever like problem solving skills you have done because that is very important i guess because you know if you go to any amazon or microsoft any other product based company's job description the first thing that you will see is the problem solving skills decode in data structure and algorithms right so that is the first thing you will see so make sure that is highlighted in your cv because when the recruiter would go through your cv he would like search for those skills right because he is hiring relevant to that job for sd1 position so make sure that you have those skills highlighted also have have some projects again for projects it can be mli project it can be java web development anything but make sure you have worked on one particular project and you know that project in and out so you can talk about it right so a lot of questions will be asked on that project so don't neglect projects in the quest of you know, problem solving data structures and algorithms so that is also very important so yeah, if you make a proper cv and you are kind of active on linkedin as well you have the right can you make the right connections you have and i think it's very important to be aware as well awareness is very important like like be aware of what is going around you see if you, if you find that someone is getting hired in amazon like if you posting a status on linkedin go and talk to him like check how he did he get into amazon from where did he apply so that is very important it's very important to be aware of see geeks for which is there it's good it's a good platform interview bit is there lead code is there these are for problem solving uh, for interview uh, based problem sport courses and course chef are for competitive coding which i use so i think uh, apart from that get and all i think what you need to do is you need to google search and you need to probably read a few articles or you can go up to udemy and there are a lot of courses on get as well you can go to youtube uh, to search some free courses uh so yeah i mean these these things i think you can uh, like uh, probably learn from there